Hi, I'm Dawn, and this is where Shabby Meets Bling. Today, I'm going to be working with a friend, not in person, but long distance, and we both have similar items that we are going to flip and make into something amazing. Hi, Dawn, I was so happy when I saw your channel, Shabby Meets Bling, because what's better than Shabby Chic and Bling? I love it both. And I was just so impressed with your crafting and I wanted to collaborate with you. So the two of us came up with this wonderful idea of working with vases. Now, the first thing I have to do is clean this. But after that, let's see what we can both come up with using these ubiquitous items that we can find at thrift stores and at the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. Let me show you what I found for this dual flip. I found a pair of glass cylinder vases. And who knows, at one time, maybe they had candles in them too. I don't know. I found them at uh, a resale shop after Christmas sale. And I think they're really pretty. And I'm not really fond about what's inside. I'll probably keep the moss and the pine cones, but that's probably about it. Uh, one thing I will tell you is when we're done, uh, they're not gonna be vases anymore. What will they be? What will they be? We're gonna find out. So let's get started into making these cylinder vases and do other things that just aren't vases. Step one is to disassemble these <laughs> beautiful floral arrangements. <laughs> and now I need to address the little flaw in the glass. And by taking some sandpaper and just gently sanding, it disappears. No more cut fingers. Get them nice and clean so we can get ready for our next step. These are back plates. Back plates for drawer pulls. And they're clear glass and they're beautiful. They look like a flower to me. A little medallion, a little flower. And these are going to be paramount in our little uh, design flip we're doing. And I'm gonna take them and I'm going to give them spray paint on the back side on the back side. We're spray, spray painting them white because we don't want to see through them. We want this to be kind of a camouflage situation. I've given them, I think like four coats total. Here we have a couple of drawer pulls and these are extra backup ones from our vanity project in my master bathroom. But we're not gonna use the whole drawer pull. They're mercury glass, aren't they pretty? Yeah, so I'll keep them for something else, but I just need the little screw and that tiny little flower looking thing in the middle. And the washer, of course. And that will be very important to, <laughs> to our design as well. Here's another resale find that is super important to this crazy little flip. Our bases are clean. And I was right, they really were meant at some point for candles. There's a little sticker on the bottom and I saw that when I was cleaning them up. I got my little my little blemish sanded out, so no cut fingers of any kind. This is echoing because it's so close. Now that that's done and we have taken our back plates and painted them, and we have our little screw parts from the inside of our drawer pulls, we need just a couple more things and then we can assemble and you can see what this is really gonna be. I am going to use some self-adhesive round labels. They're the laser inkjet little labels and they're the three quarters inch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a program on my computer and I am going to get a little image, uh, a flower, maybe a leaf, something a lot along those lines, just something decorative. And I'm gonna print out like maybe eight or 10 of them for this project. And uh, you'll see in just a little bit what we're gonna use those for. Here we have our labels all printed with a beautiful little wreath on there. Very spring-like with a fancy J in the middle for my last name. Very pretty, very springy. I'm really happy with the way they turned out and in a little bit we'll, we'll be using them so you'll see what that's all about. But we do need one last item. <laughs> Not the whole thing, <laughs> not the whole thing, just the lid. And uh, it's amazing uh, the different things you can find when you're thrifting. 
and the thrift stores I go to, they have huge bins, huge bins of just random lids. <laughs> so many lids. <laughs> some beautiful, some not so beautiful, some just the plain glass. So I was lucky enough, I found two. Perfect, same size, ready to roll. Now, now that we have all of our components together, we are going to assemble them and I'm going to show you what this crazy little combination of items is going to look like. Let's do it. It's time to take our beautiful little painted medallion, our little flower screw and the rubber cork and put them all together. So they kind of create like a giant stopper, a camouflaged stopper where you can't see the stopper. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, what are we doing with all this stuff? Well, here's a hint. Yes, pet peeve number two, displaying toilet paper. Whenever you have utilitarian items, I believe that form should try to meet function. We're gonna have form meeting function where you can have utilitarian items and they can look beautiful. If you can make something beautiful, uh, why don't you? Here we are. I'll put together toilet paper inside and I don't want to see the inside of a toilet paper roll. So we're gonna cover it up with our little camouflage stopper and there's our little pot lid. Fits absolutely perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love it. And now we have something that form meets function beautifully. This just goes to show you that you can take a bunch of items that have no business being together and make something that's not only beautiful, but utilitarian and serve a purpose. I can't wait to see what Annie did with her vases. Check out her video at Crafting with Indie Annie Jones. I'll leave the link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to support the channel and subscribe. Ring the bell to make sure you get notifications of all my new videos. For now, this is Dawn with Shabby Meets Bling. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.